Number 1 Book Cotton Mills Museum Book Cotton Mills was open for 120 years before finally closing for good in 1955. After this time, it was lovingly restored and is now operated by the Lowell National Historical Park. Number 2 Lowell National Historical Park Lowell is often said to be one of the birthplaces of the Industrial Revolution in the United States and the Lowell National Historical Park is the place to come to learn all about this amazing period of history. Number 3 Mogan Cultural Center Part of the Lowell National Historical Park, the Patrick J. Mogan Cultural Center works in conjunction with the University of Massachusetts Lowell. Number 4 National Streetcar Museum If you want to learn about how public transport has evolved in Lowell over the years then look no further than the National Streetcar Museum. Here you will find period examples of transportation vehicles. Number 5 The Lowell Devils The Devils have their home stadium in the downtown area of Lowell at the Tsongas Arena, and games attract large crowds of adoring fans. Visitors to Lowell can check local listings. Number 6 New England Quilt Museum If you come here you can expect galleries that showcase antique quilts as well as seminars and talks that will introduce you to the ancient art of quilt making. Number 7 Lowell Drakettingsboro State Forest The Lowell Drakettingsboro State Forest is so large that it sprawls across three cities, namely Lowell, Drakett, and neighboring Tingsboro. The forest is over 1,000 acres and boasts 6 miles of trails. Number 8 UMass Lowell Kayak Center the UMass Lowell Kayak Center is known for running summer kayaking trips that are open not only to UMass students, but also to the general public. Whether you are a novice kayaker or an old hand. Number 9 Kerouac Park A resident of the town, prolific writer Jack Kerouac came to embody the voice of the Beat Generation, and a park was erected in his honor in downtown Lowell. Number 10 Whistler House Museum of Art Whistler House Museum of Art is famous for being the birthplace of the artist James McNeil Whistler and was first founded back in 1908. The site is also the base of the Lowell Art Association, and you can find period and local artwork. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.